All right, so what are we doing next? We have two more championships to take care of here. And well, I think we're gonna go up here and do the South and Central American Championship. Yeah, yeah. So, what do we got to choose from here? We got the Lincoln LS, which I've already driven. Chrysler 300M, which I've already driven. I almost, I read that as Team Cesspool for a moment. It's Crosspool. Another Chrysler 300M. Uh, BMW, Mercury Sable, and a Toyota Camry. We're driving the Sable. Yes. This is what we're doing. Team Drowning Pool. Alright, so here's our three tracks for the South Central American Championship. In a interesting order. <laughs> different so first race is gonna take place at now I'm only saying this because this is how Ned pronounces it Buenos Aires or Aris a baby bit Buenos Aires Buenos Aires yeah I don't fucking know anyways here's our lineup I don't know who's gonna be the fast man that'll be revealed after this race but yeah Welcome to the here South we go and Central American Championship and the first race of the series here at Buenos Aires Buenos Aires also rolling start don't have to worry about fucking up the standing starts go get him away there's just a whole ass sword on the rear window Oh god. Oh god. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're living. Just barely, but we're living. Don't get out of the dirt, idiot. Energy. So much energy. Energy. Oh, it's literally sponsored by a company named Broadsword. I just looked at the bumper. Looked down at the bumper. Suddenly it makes a lot more sense. Oh, oh. Mr. Cottonary just now. Why aren't you at the wedding? off my heels. I paid a lot of money for those. I don't want them to get dirt on it. Is there a shotgun involved? E okay. The car behind is catching you fast. Hi. Got a hot rod Lincoln behind me. Okay, he's no longer close behind me. Well, hey, congrats to your sister. She has succeeded in something I failed miserably at. And that's finding another human being to care about him. Final lap. Look, the only romance I need is Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Available now on insert console here.
this motherfucker has a right idea. Toker games. Uh, I've played all the race driver games. Actually, I've played pretty much every game in this the Toka Grid series. I just never finished the new grid because I was bored of it <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah, I try to have variety T bones. Sometimes it works. Most of the time it doesn't because it's not Gran Turismo. Let's just run but anyways, I ween energy. Yeah. Caddy accurate DPI. Oh, forgot about that. Trash. It wasn't like it's not even that the new grid is bad. It's just not interesting. Like the actual like driving is good. It's just. The game. Here is today's result. I'll finish that thought in a moment. The winner taking his first victory of the series was Jason Jarrett. Today's runner-up was Emerson Carlos. Crossing the line in third place was Raul Sanchez. Anyways, the the problem was the game built around the driving wasn't really interesting at all. Here's a list of things to do. Go. Chew. With only one race completed, the championship is, of course, wide open. All right, well, we have the early lead. And we've actually won race one for the first time, and I don't even know how long it's been since we won the first race in this game. Completely inoffensive. Again, I'm not saying it's a terrible game. I'm just saying it's... There's a difference between a bad game and a boring game. Grid's a boring game. It's not a bad game, but it's a boring game. I need. We need to differentiate these two things. Anyways, we're going to... Uh, where the fuck are we? Oh, Mexico City. That's right. I'm like, wait, what track are we going to? to the second race of the championship here at Mexico City. Here we go. The Around the two. That's cool. I'm taking that from you, Mr. Carlos. Big speed. Speed. No more speed. Slow down. Cease the speed. <laughs> Ned was gonna fuck up same Mexico. If Ned fucked up Me same Mexico, I would just been done. <laughs> Alternatively, Ned fucking puts on a sombrero and just goes, Viva la Mexico! Jason Jarrett. I seem to be kicking everyone's ass here. Low downforce is being uh, very beneficial. Did they already have the stadium section of the track in 2000? That's what it looked like. Huh. I thought that was like a later addition to the circuit just for F1. Nope. I was wrong. Since 93. Well, shows how much I know about this track. I'm 
kind of actually like wiping the floor with these guys. <laughs> Oh, it's a baseball stadium, okay. You know, that makes more sense. You can see the grandstands and like the road splitting off there. And then coming back there. Final lap, repeat. This is the final lap. I'm kind of uh kind of have a large lead here. I would say I would uh, give myself some extra drag, but by increasing the downforce, but I kind of want to go get a perfect 60 points. I haven't had a flawless championship yet in this LP. I'm pretty sure there's not a reward for getting, like, maximum points in this game, but... You know. You know? You know. <laughs> yeah. And across the line. Well done. Let's look back now at the race highlights. I won by a lot. Let's see how the race finished. Twenty two seconds. Taking the checkered flag and maximum points was Jason Jarrett. Scraping by in second, claiming six points, was Raul Sanchez. The final driver on the podium was Janino. Janino, that's it. That's, that's, his, that's his name. He doesn't have a first name, it's just Janino. Okay. And then we have Ricardo. Fucks with these one name drivers. I'm not I'm not sure what's a, which is more terrifying, the three name drivers in I racing and the one name drivers Let's take a look in this at the game. Drivers championship. Out in front at this stage is Jason Jarrett. Hello, no Nino. Advancing up to Don second Nino. place John. in the championship. John. We have Raul Sanchez. In third. The BMW 328, Emerson Carlos. Also, the name Emerson Carlos is funny to me. I thought the whole two first names thing was just an American thing. Obviously, I was wrong. Emerson Carlos. Hey, look, we're going back to Buenos Aires already. Quite popular here. Uh, the more you know. Pit stop race six laps. Oh boy. Maria Luis Maria Paula Joao Pedro. Wow. 
It's time for the third race of the series here at Bonus Airs. Here we go. Got my broadsword out. It's called my penis. I mean, what? Someone just lost a ton of spots. Oh, I did not need to downshift there. Whoops. Again, surprisingly clean start for me. I don't know about everyone else, but, you know. The old switcheroo with my teammate. Oh, things are happening in front of me. Fuck off. Pick a lane. Damn it. Ha-hoo-ha. Cars are starting to come in for their stops now. Yeah. Oh, dicks. Okay, we're good. Almost went flying off. Oh, hi, how you doing? Back fiend? Fuck it, I'm pitting now. Oh god. Okay, pit's ready. Watch your speed. Oops. The first viewer. Uh no, not even close. Alright, well, I guess I'll uh <laughs> repair the engine that I just broke. Oops. Do repairs? Yeah, I guess. Hammers out, boys. Oh, it didn't even fucking change tires. What? I thought it was gonna be tires and then damage repair. It's bullshit. I've been, I've been had. I've been bamboozled, I've been swindled. There's no change at the front. Uh, I guess we'll find out if the game yells at me to pit on lap 5. Because I don't know if that counted as my mandatory stop or not. There is... Fuckery of foot. Raul Sanchez is over ten seconds ahead now. Good for him. Still has to make his pit stops so on his foot. Back here, coward. Similar to the PS1 Colin Cray games. 
Same developer, so makes sense. Or at least, you know, it's both under the Codemasters umbrella. team in front of me? I think it is. Oh. One of them has yet was making a stop. Go! Dive! What's up, Sampus? A lot of pit stops are happening now. Alright, the game isn't yelling at me to pit, so I guess that did count. All as well. And then I crossed the line, they're like, you didn't pit, you're out of the race. What the fuck? Hi, teammate. Teammate! Why block, teammate? Why, why you do that? Asshole. Despite losing, I guess, four seconds because the tire change takes six. An extra four seconds from the uh, engine repairs. Yeah, I still have a big gap. <laughs> We're gonna go three for three, baby. From the race one I just like the way he went, yeah. <laughs> Here is today's result. I win. For an impressive third time in succession, the victory and maximum points go to Jason Jarrett. Today's runner-up was Eduardo Alvarez. Finishing in third place and finishing on the podium for the third time was Raul Sanchez. Yeah. Motionless spotter, spotter. He has two emotions either. Yeah or sweet. I can't even do it. Also didn't want to be loud. Here are the current championship standings. Jason Jarrett leads the way after just three races. Doing well in second is Raul Sanchez. In third, Emerson Carlos. You know what? Ned is doing his best, and I commend it. These are a lot of, uh, a lot of things. Yeah. 
a lot of names from different uh, areas of the world that he normally would not ever print, have to uh, mention. Anyways, time for Brasilia. This fucking intestine of a track. Ooh, night race, okay. Let's see. Eduardo Carlos, starting second. The fuck is Al... Uh, fuck is... I think I missed him. I'm trying to find where Mr. Consistent Podium Man is starting. Oh. The next race marks the midway point for the series and comes from Brasilia. Away we go. Oh, three laps, okay. I thought this was only going to be two laps because... I think this was three laps in the international championship, as opposed to four. It's kind of a big track. Can I still say this is just a kart track that they scaled up a lot? Like, in real life. <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit, teammate. There he is. Sanchez. Not this time for racing. Yeah, probably T Bones. I mean, he obviously agreed to do this in uh, Colin McRae Rally 2, so, like... You know. Could have easily been like, well, we approached Ned Jarrett, and he's just like, nah. much a professional. This game has a Brazilian track. It does. Oh, it absolutely was, Harry. Like, the reason for Net that Ned's here is definitely for, you know, helping with the American sales of this game. But what I was saying is, like, you know, Ned could have refused, and they could have approached somebody else. But, obviously, Ned agreed to do this. fell into place. Stock car racing. Isn't like silhouette racing though? Like they have their own like silhouettes. They just call stock cars. I watched a tiny bit of Euro NASCAR before. Not much, but like enough to know that it exists. This is fair. 
bendy, twisty turn left. Final lap, repeat. This is the final lap. One lap to go. Oh, I see. Okay, that I did not know about. Oh, man. That's one thing I love about video games is that you get to, like, experience, like, different regions of motorsport you normally wouldn't have, like, know about. Like, I'm glad Rise of Studios exists because we get to see a lot of uh, Brazilian racing that otherwise we wouldn't, in Brazilian tracks we otherwise wouldn't, would never see. like Race Driver, which got the V8 Supercars license. And the DTM license. And got it. A few tracks that, like, you never see in other games. Hell, I've... I think there's, like, what? Maybe one other game, like a kart game, that has Vancouver Street Circuit that's in this game. I love oddities like that. Also, I win. Yeah, great drive, pal. Great yeah. drive. Let's just run through the race action again. Series. Meanwhile, two days ago, Here Black Flag Matter made a result. video about the worst race. This victory made it four wins in this series for Jason Jarrett. Four for four, baby. Following him in second place was Raul Sanchez. Uh, possibly scaling in third, toward. In the Lincoln LS, Janino. Janino. He just he just sounds like one of those like Mexican outlaw bandits. Janino. Da da da. Here is the drivers' championship table. Still in the lead at this stage, Jason Jarrett. In second place, we have Raul Sanchez. Emerson Carlos is in third place. I think that cart game is also like one of, if one of, if not the only appearance of a uh, homestead when it was a rectangle. Like the first iteration of the homestead track. It was back to Mexico City for round five. So, away we go. Starting 7th, we'll probably be close to the front by the time we reach T1 because of the long front straightaway. Let's fucking do this. Do it. So the series nearing its finale, the <clears throat> next to the last race meeting brings us here to Mexico City. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh my god, don't shut the door. Hey! Yeah, Cart World Series, that's the game we're talking about. Alright, I said I was going to be close to P1 by T1. Not in P1 by T1, but here we are.
that's uh that's the grass, don't touch that. And now speed. Zoom. Top speed, baby. <clears throat> I am the fast. Here's Ollie with the weather. It's going to rain. Thanks, Ollie. Wacky Monza. Draw Monza from memory. Come at point reverse. May have been unintentional, but it's still on brand, Caro. This is the final lap. You are currently on the maximum ten points. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> draw Coda from memory. They just they just draw a bunch of raindrops. The only game I really want, well, games, because there's two of them I really want to get, is the uh, V8 Superstars games on PS3. I don't think they ever got released over here, at least physically. But I really want to play them. I think so, Caro. It was like it's that one game that like they didn't weren't able to license all the cars in the game, so they had to like you know <laughs> video gamify a couple cars. Five for five. Well done. Let's look back now at the race highlights. Those are some highlights. Let's see how the race finished. I won by 21 seconds, goddamn. Today's God winner damn. was Jason Jarrett. Following him in second place was Nelson De Silva. Mm -hmm. In third place, for the Zephyr Sprint Team, Emerson Carlos. Yes, yeah, based on like the Italian V8 superstars. That's why it's superstars, not supercars. When I first learned of that game's existence, I was also confused. I was like, there's a V8 supercar. Oh, this is this isn't V8 supercars. <laughs> Here is the drivers' championship table. With the season now five races old, heading the championship race at this stage is Jason Jarrett. I win, by the way. 
Doing well in second is Raul Sanchez. In third place, we have Emerson Carlos. Yeah. Domination. Uh. Can we make it a perfect six for six? 60 points. Probably. Go back to uh, Brasilia. <clears throat> for our final race. And we're starting 11th, because of course we are. So. There's the lineup. Let's do this. Here we go. The curtain goes down on the championship today here at Brasilia. Oh shit. Oh, 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 almost clean. It's been a surprisingly clean championship, mostly because I've been taking the lead almost immediately and then just running away. I haven't had much in the way of shenanigans. Oh, hello. Street course. I didn't see much of it because I was streaming, but, um... Looks interesting. I'm probably never, like, not gonna buy it, but it looks interesting. Points are in the bag. Just keep on going. Keep on keeping on. I did not know this was a thing that existed. So, uh... <laughs> I was unaware of this bean sculpture. Sculpt... <laughs> Massacron bean. Again, never knew about this. Two laps to go. Our perfect season will be uh, complete. Huh. How about that shit? Yeah, that's enough context. I mean, beans. Beans are taking over. Bean. Cloud gate, more like bean gate. This track is surprisingly easy. <laughs> like, you think, judging by the map, this would be a difficult track to maneuver. Nah, it ain't. Pretty simple, actually. As I say that, I almost go flying off the course. First time being.
keep forgetting that's the final turn. And that this is the front straightaway, not the next straightaway. Okay, hey, I did a sub two minute lap, sweet. Lap. Wasn't able to do that in the first race here. Final lap of the South and Central American Championship. This way. What a soothing drive. <laughs> All by my lonesome, with a... Just, just me, my Saab 9.5 arrow, and my, uh... Like, 20 second lead. <laughs> I'm in the Saab, right? Was that last series? That was in, that was in Germany, right? What the fuck am I driving here? I forget. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm driving the Mercury Sable. Mercury Sable. I'm an idiot. Brain no work. <laughs> Brain don't do thought good. Remember. I was blessed with the knowledge of Bean. I feel the power of Christopher, Christopher Bowes and his plate of beans. It's time for some midnight breakfast. Anyways, clean, sweep, baby. Yeah. Let's take a look back at the highlights from today's. Fucking did it. And in pretty easy fashion, Let's actually. Let's see how the race finished. Incredibly, that makes it six wins and six races for Jason Jarrett. Whoa. In second place, another podium finish for Raul Sanchez. Finishing in third place and finishing on the podium for the third time was Emerson Carlos. Get in there, Carlos. I guess. I don't know. Anyways, points. Let's see how today's result affects the championship. No surprises as to who our champion is in this series. Winning every race, Jason Jarrett. Hell yeah. A superb finish to the season. Everything he did seemed to pay off, and we wonder where he will race next season. Some great performances throughout the series were not quite enough for the title. In second place, Raul Sanchez. After some strong performances throughout the series, in third place, Emerson Carlos. Woohoo. <laughs> All right. Six for six, 60 points. Let's fucking go. Did it. So now, let's get our boring. You know, all that, all that jazz. Alpha Romeo. Boing. Aween. Won the South and Central American Drivers Championship. Oh yeah. And then like another cheat. Europa. Not the Yo Lotus Europa, I don't think. But Europa. Oh shit, we unlocked a new car. Oh shit, it's the Cerberus Speed 12. It's not the Speed 12, but it's the Cerberus Speed 12. Oh fuck. And we are only 17 points away from unlocking the final car. The final bonus car. They're nice. So there we go. A perfect 60 points. In the South Central American Championship. Oh yeah. We have one more championship to tackle. And uh, we'll have completed the game. Because I'm not worried about scoring max points. Because I don't, again, there's no extra rewards. 